Hey, I'm so happy this actually, ah, oh, damn, you can't see my fucking feet. Ugh. It was working so well before. Here, how about that? What's that look like? Uh, okay, we got this. Just a little bit. Little, little, little Lemurian. Little Lemurian over here. Yeah, how about that? Awesome! Cool. Alright, so I'm gonna take my glasses off now. And cool, welcome to our Manipura practice today. Um, all right, I'm gonna start, I feel like standing now because I'm like, woo, projected to the world. Woo, woo, woo. Anyway, um, okay, so today's practice is all about Manipura, which is the navel chakra. It's responsible for um, feeling like your sense of worth, confidence, like power pose, everything all good and yummy in that self-love space. Um, its color is yellow. <laughs> and today we're going to begin by firing up our uh, navel chakra to really ignite our sense of confidence. And it's not so much of a look, but more like a feel. Like I want you to feel strong in your core. And if that doesn't happen today, that's okay. Guess what? It's a practice. So we're gonna keep getting to it and getting better and stronger each time we practice. So I just have some nice ambient music on today. I'm gonna lay down on the floor. I hope you guys can see me. Um, cool. So let's begin on our backs and we're gonna do a nice body scan. So I'm laying like this. I'm gonna lay like this today. And begin letting go of the day so far. Letting go of yourself. Letting go of anything that you have to do after you practice. And let's just begin to find presence on our mat. And we'll find that presence by breathing into our body. Finding space in our heart. With every inhale and every exhale, we let go. begin with our toes. We'll feel this bright neon yellow light and it is warm and it is entering us through our toes and it's twisting and it's twirling around our feet. It's going up to our ankles. Mm, this bright light is swirling around our shins, moving up into our knees, around our thighs. as this sacred light swirls around our spine. We inhale, feel its warmth, and exhale as it moves around our lungs into our heart. We feel its happiness, its bright light. As this light moves up our heart into our collarbones, we relax with its bright presence into our neck, up into our mind. We 
Breathe deeply. So we feel the slight effects on ourselves and ourselves. We relax in its presence. place them behind your back for extra support. You can also bend your knees if that feels good for you. Um, this actually feels perfect for me right now. So let's inhale and exhale. I'm feeling that right leg. Let's come down into a nice, comfortable cross-legged position and begin to rotate our spine in Sufi swirls. We'll exhale on our way back and inhale on our way forward. the opposite direction. Beep. Welcome to Queens. We're going to beep at each other. Awesome. Cool. Let's flop it out a little bit, shake it out, and do some seated cat cows. So inhale. And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, yeah. move forward and exhale, arching the spine really like I like to use my hands kind of like hold me from falling back and just relax your back, your neck, just relax everything. Uh, 
feels like such a nice stretch. I just want to stay there forever. Let's inhale forward. And one more time. Ah, exhale, come back. Awesome. Mm, let's set an intention or mantra for our practice today. Manipura mantra, anything to the rhythm of I am worthy, I am enough, I am strong, I am capable, I am motivated, I am confident, whatever resonates with you, you can set an intention for your practice today to um, maybe the mantra doesn't sit right with you, maybe it doesn't feel authentic, then maybe the intention for our practice today could be to just move a little bit closer towards that sense of worthiness, that sense of confidence, or wherever you are today, it's a-okay. Um, let's come onto our hands and knees. And much booty. Um, <laughs> so we're going to come onto our hands and knees and our toes are flat on our mats and actually before we do that let's just kind of rotate our wrists a little bit, loosen them up. I don't want it to be too like sticky and ouch, like too much pain. I think our wrists deal with a lot in this century, you know, with all the texting and typing and all this stuff, so let's just kind of loosen it out and kind of, you know, just, it's really important to warm up the wrist. <laughs> Go up and twinkle fingers. What is it? Jazz hands? Ah, just kidding. Okay. Um, okay, so our feet are flat on our mats and our hands are shoulders underneath. Our hands are underneath our shoulders and we're going to push into our hands. Now, we're not just going to like forget about our hands. We're really going to push into our hands. Like if somebody was trying to scoop your hands up with a spatula, they would not be able to do that because your hands are so firmly pushed into your mouth. And I'm really focusing on like the pads under, like right where my finger meets my hand. And for the top of my toes, we're just going to push them into the mat and slowly lift up again engaging the core and we'll breathe here awesome now float your way back down take a few back paws on our hands and knees. And look over your shoulder and look over your other shoulder. And again. And one more time. Cool. Good job. Now, coming back onto our butt. Let's bring our left foot in towards our right thigh, right leg is extended and whatever amount you can do is awesome. I'm going to grab my toe, so I'm taking like peace sign fingers and wrapping it around my toe, pushing my thumb into my toenail and if you can't reach your toes, you can totally place your hand on your calf, on your thigh, on your knee, wherever you want. Um, working towards touching our toes. And we'll come forward, getting a nice little side body stretch in here, and slowly inhale as we lift up. And exhale, coming down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come down. Inhale. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Let's inhale as we stay here for a brief moment.
Okay, on your next inhale, we're going to lift up. And we're going to do the same thing, but a little bit faster. called the life nerve stretch and according to kundalini practices this should be practiced every morning when you wake up we're going to switch on to the other side and you guessed it same thing so let's slowly go down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down Inhale up. Make sure you're not losing the, um, you know, you're still pushing into that leg that you're reaching towards. You're not just letting it kind of like limp out, still doing lots of active work. And we'll come down for a brief moment, getting that nice side body stretch. Coming to your mind during your practice today, just don't let it hold you back. That is my goal for my practice today. I'm just gonna keep moving and allow my body to naturally digest the thoughts, digest the scenarios that I'm creating in my head, just digest everything with the breath. though you don't want to like stress your legs out it's still early like chill um okay cool and we're just going to lean forward and back and forward in towards our spine and up towards our throat and on your next bar just hang out there for a little bit yeah I'm not gonna like go too far today there's no point this is where I am right now and this feels like I'm feeling a nice stretch right in my inner thigh and that I'm happy here right now I'm breathing into this space. Mm. 
And then I'll come forward a little bit more. body and we're going to come back on all fours same situation pushing 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 into our hands pushing into the tops of our feet and inhale as you lift up tucking your toes and pushing back and up into downward facing dog. Great job. I'll just pedal up the feet here. I like getting into the armpits too. <laughs> just stretch me out everywhere. Okay, awesome. Now push back on your hands coming in and come back onto your knees into your child's pose allowing your third eye to touch the mat and we're allowing the light that we brought into our practice earlier to alchemize the darkness that we are seeing now We allow the light to digest our experiences, to empower a best possible scenario for our soul. We choose to see through the light. back into downward facing dog slowly walking your feet up to your hands and slowly rolling up and we'll come into a nice tadasana mountain pose so let's bring the energy that we discovered in our body through the body scan into our body as it is upright. So we'll breathe into that light, feeling our fingertips anchor down, down, down to the ground as our heart lifts up, our crown is expanding opening, we feel connected, safe, Amazing job guys. Let's meet at the front of our mats. We're going to do a few sun salutations. I'll do a few with you and then we'll do some with our own breath. So bend our knees, open our arms up to the sky. Exhale our way down, 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 releasing the neck. Inhale as we lift up halfway. Exhale, plant your hands down, step back into plank knees 
chest and chin touch the mat as we tuck our toes pushing up into baby cobra inhale exhale push into your arms lifting on your toes downward facing dog pedal out I'm gonna take three breaths here Awesome, stepping our feet to our hands, lifting up, flat back, exhale, forward fold, inhale as you bend the knees, lift up, and exhale, back down into Tadasana, inhale, exhale, Inhale, bend your knees, lift up. Exhale, forward fold, dive forward. Relax the back of the neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. Knees, chest, chin, touch your mat. Tap your toes to the mat and lift up into baby cobra, opening the heart. Inhale. Exhale, push into the hands, tuck the toes. Come back, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Stepping forward to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bending into your knees, lift up, reach the sky. And exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, exhale. One more time together. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank. You can do knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale as you lift up, cobra. Exhale, come back, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, step forward, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bending into the knees, lifting up. Side back bend. Exhale. Tadasana. Mountain pose. Awesome. Let's do two more at your own pace with your own breath, I invite you to listen to the flow of your body to determine how fast or how slow you want to move in your practice today.
Mm, well, all me and child's pose. And you're finished. our core strength to bring us back so slowly lower and um, protecting our lower back always ah, okay awesome so I just want to um, you know do a little core series if um, this is like a lot don't worry it's all good just like keep practicing and um, core is funny because like core, if you do a little bit every day, you'll be able to do so, so, so much and um, it just like, it's not something that you're just going to get, like core strength, like it has to be consistently added to your practice over time. So let's start with some bicycles, I love yoga bicycles and we're going to bring our right elbow to our left knee. And we're switching. And we'll switch. And we'll switch. And switch. And switch. And okay, so now we're going to switch and reach. Awesome. Now switch and reach. Ah, switch, reach, switch, reach. Two more, you got this one. Two, one, two. Awesome. Let it go. Coming onto our backs again. And we'll do some. We're going to take our hands like a diamond and place it underneath our tailbone for some extra support. Raising our toes up to the sky. We'll just kind of kick up. So kick. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Let's go back to those bicycles. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now right, reach, left, reach, right, reach, left, reach. Two more, right, reach, left, reach, and release. Nice. Uh, what else can we do? Let's do some, oh, I like those two. So we're going to place our feet firmly on our mat. And lifting our shoulders up, hello. <laughs> Take our right hand and kind of like reach. So, and left hand reach. And I just keep doing this over and over again. And I'd like you, as we're doing all of these reaching exercises, it's important to visualize what are you reaching for. And like literally imagine yourself grabbing it and grabbing it. And maybe it'll make you go a little bit faster because you're like, damn, I really fucking want this. But like so close but so far and guess what you can accomplish anything 
you can achieve anything it's all within your reach so i encourage you to reach for whatever you want in your practice today and good job let's let it go oh. we'll take a nice little bridge here yeah relax <laughs> core <Ooh. sighs> nice breaths relax your butt Really putting my weight into my feet. I'm not clenching at all, just like nice relaxing. Good job. Awesome. Lower down. And we're gonna do the whole thing one more time. Maybe twice. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so <laughs> we'll do bicycles. Bicycle. Left. Right. Left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, faster, right, right, left, go, 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 see how fast you can go actually, just keep going faster, and faster, faster, and faster, go, 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 awesome, good job, okay, now right, and reach, left, and reach, right, and reach, left, and reach, right, reach, left, Reach, right, reach, left, reach, awesome. And reverse crunch. So hands come behind the tailbone, lifting your feet up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. This time we're gonna go out. Do we have enough speeds? Yeah, out and up. Out and up. Out and up. Out and up. up. Halfway there. Five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Now flutter kicks, flutter, flutter, flutter. Oh my god. Uh, Faster, faster, you got this. And <laughs> release. Okay, almost there. I know I added something, sorry. <laughs> like shoulders up and reaching, and reaching, and reaching, and reaching, <laughs> reaching. Maybe I look silly, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to work my core, dude. <laughs> And relax. <sighs> Breathe. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It wouldn't be a navel chakra class without some fucking core work. So let's get it in there. And now we'll go back to our sun salutation. Let's come on to our hands and knees. Um, tucking our toes, lifting back, downward facing dog. <sighs> come forward into plank. Sorry guys, we're gonna stay here for a minute. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Breathe, breathe, belly tight. Awesome, rolling forward and coming down. I'll go knees, chest, chin, and ugh. Yay, Cobra. Feels so good. Uh, let's see here for Let's take our hands behind our backs and we're going to lift up. 
and breathe. Just our, our chests are up, our toes are on our mats. Slowly lower it down, one cheek to the side of your mat. And on your next inhale, lifting up, just your upper body again. your opposite cheek to your mat, bring it all back down. And before we go up again, let's just see if we can grab our left foot with our left hand. Just give ourselves a nice thigh stretch. Mm, flipping to the other side, grabbing the opposite hand with the opposite foot, so my right foot, right hand. our hands behind our back lifting up with our feet and our upper body now don't really focus on like how high you can lift up I'd rather you bring attention to your feet staying together and your body coming up in like one piece kind of like there's a magnet above you and it's like sucking you so relax in that upper body and lower body are strong and straight and we're lifting up, engaging our core, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing as tight as we can. And we exhale. Let it go. And we'll raise our left foot, meets our left hand. And our right foot meets our right hand. And we'll lift up again. And exhale, bring it down. All the way down. And we'll flip onto our backs. Raise our arms overhead and windshield wiper our knees side to side. Maybe closing our eyes and focusing on our breath. Rotate it in nice big circles, loosening up the hip. Mm, let's go the opposite direction. Mm, we'll 
switch to our left leg, making some nice big hip circles. And go the opposite direction. Let's raise our feet up to the sky. Just hang out here for a minute. strength to engage, lower your feet down to the ground. Let's take our right foot again, bringing it in towards our chest, and left foot is firmly planted on our mat. We'll cross our right foot over our left thigh, reaching in between our legs and grasping the back of our left thigh, bringing ourselves in a nice reclined pigeon, just rocking back and forth. down to our mat, right leg crosses over our body into a twist, arms extend, and we gently keep over our right shoulder. back onto the center of your spine. Uh, maybe go the opposite direction for one second. And we'll place our right foot back on our mat. Left foot comes up this time, crossing over our right thigh, reaching for the back of the right thigh as we pull our legs in towards our chest. Mm, relaxing into this posture, relaxing into our breath. to our mat, crossing our left foot over the right side of our body into a twist in the opposite direction.
So when you inhale, come back onto the center of your spine, bringing the soles of our feet back to our mat. And we're going to gently rock, yes, rock, pull on our spine. I promise we'll come back down very shortly. Nothing too intense here. Just gonna chill and crossing our left foot over the right leg. We'll inhale, our heart comes forward. Right arm comes up and exhale, bring our elbow to our left knee as we take a gentle seated twist. This is detoxifying all of the energy that we built up during class today. I'm just gonna kind of let it go. So definitely not forcing this. It's just very gentle, very loose. Like, Focusing on my belly, my breath. I'm not twisting my neck too much and keeping it pretty centered in between my chest. Maybe with every exhale, you twist a little bit deeper, one centimeter. Let's inhale together, bringing our hands up to the sky, crossing our knee over our right leg, and let it go. Maybe placing your hands underneath your knee for some extra protection. And we're just gonna let ourselves go in this nice rounding shape. Left leg comes out. We're going to cross our right foot over our left knee. Inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, bring your elbow to our knee. As we open our hearts into the nice seated twist. chest opens, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, everything back up to center. And we're going 
back, down to our hands and knees, down the facing dog. And pushing into our hands, right leg comes up, right knee comes in, bringing our foot to our left hand as we come back into pigeon, opening our heart. Exhale, coming forward and On your next inhale, gently push yourself up. Bringing your back leg forward, placing our left foot on the outside of our right knee, and finding another twist once again. Maybe taking a bind if you feel like it. And just focusing on inhale, lengthening the spine. And exhale, maybe just a little bit deeper.
slowly release your grip. Coming out of your twist. Slowly lower onto our backs. Inhale, reach. Exhale, shift down. Inhale, lift up, bridge. Exhale, lower down. Extend your legs. Relax your shoulders underneath your torso as we find ourselves in our final resting posture, Shavasana.
and slowly begin bringing awareness back to your breath, deepening with every inhale, relaxing with every exhale. Slowly begin moving your fingers and your toes, rotating your wrists and your ankles. Let's go ahead and take a big stretch overhead. Big reach. And let's roll over to whatever side you want. Finding a nice, comfortable, feeble position. Breathing into that space created during class today, knowing that the space is you, has always been you, and will always be the authentic you. It is my greatest honor to be practicing with you today, and to this I bow, gather all this positive energy, and I bow to you. Thank you. 